are the string manipulation functions some of the same same string manipulation functions so just we'll take a program for each one a simple program and i'll explain how it will work out uh, hello everyone this is shravan kumar mantri welcome to our channel csc gurus the first one string copy function strcpy so where it will copy whatever there in s2 to s1 it's not like s1 to s1 s2 it is s2 to s1 so this 2 will be the source s1 will be the destination so s1 consists csc s2 consists gurus so now if you consider what happens gurus will be copied to s1 so you can remember what should be the output of s1 after the execution it consists only gurus it is not adding it is just replacing so of course s2 also consists gurus because it is copying that is here copying to the s1 so this is simply about string copy you need to use strcpy as function and when you use string manipulation functions you have to include string dot h compulsory so you are printing s1 what should be the output of s1 gurus now coming to str ncpy string n copy that means i am not i don't want to copy all the characters from s2 i want to copy only some number of characters let us suppose four number of characters in this example so 1 2 3 4 characters to s1 so that's the in, in that case you have to use str ncpy we want to copy all str cpy if you want to copy only some numbers some first n number of characters you have to use str ncpy now s1 will consist only first four characters that is gu are you of course anyway s2 consists g u r u s so you can print s1 you can get the answer as guru now this is a very important one string compare function string compare always returns output as zero or non zero which is a integer one so string compare means it compares two strings any two strings if both are e equal sequence of characters which is a word then we then it returns zero that means if it is true it returns zero if it is false it is ret it returns non zero so my question is of course it returns non zero when both the strings are not equal but when it returns positive value when it returns negative value that also we'll see here now string compare value in our example if i take csc gurus csc gurus both are equal so that's why this is 0 0 equals 0 true so the value returns 1 if of 1 means both are equal else not equal so here of course both are equal that's why it prints 1 it prints string 1 and string 2 are equal now let us suppose i in place of gurus if i take here as only csc branch if i take like this cs here s2 if i take csc gurus now what should be the output anyway both are different you will get it but i have taken one i i am taking i is equals to str cmp s1 comma s2 that means it compares s1 s2 it has to return one value anyway in our previous case both are equal that's why i value will be zero but now if you compare both both are not equal is it right yes so if both are equal what should be i value i am saying it is non zero but is it positive value or negative value that also we need to check it out so how will how the compilation will be how it takes the value is it will check each character by character in each word in each word like both are equal if both the first characters are equal it goes to the second character next third character next fourth like this when it differs it stops there and checks the condition like here in this case it checks like first three are equal fourth also space equal fifth one if you see here you have b here you have g now there it differs now it will check it out what is the ascii value of b what is the ascii value of g so for ascii value of b minus ascii value of g it will do now check it out ascii value of b and ascii value of g definitely it is negative value so that's why if it is a negative value it prints it takes minus 1 if it is positive value then it takes plus 1 let us suppose s1 i have taken csc gurus s2 i have taken csc branch then what happens g minus b what is the ascii value of g and ascii value of b if you make it minus are you getting positive or negative definitely positive value 
so then it will print plus one that is one only of course in some compilers it will print exactly what is the difference as k difference but in some compilers it prints either plus or minus only the sign so like this it will be it won't check like how many characters in first uh, string and how many characters in second string based on that will it give minus one or plus one definitely not so it checks even even the number of characters are less in the first string it checks where it differs and if you want you can take one more example csc and one more example is i'll take of course here i'll take csc here i'll take ec branch now you can observe the things like c here e c minus e if you take of course it is capital c let it be c minus e what is c minus e it will be negative value so that's why it returns minus one let us suppose even if i have like this csc branch like here it has more number of characters compared to this then also c minus e minus one only so like this it won't check the number of characters that is a string length it will never check for the length of the string so it always go with the character by character so like this it is you need to remember so this is this sort of the concept when it will give minus one and when it give plus one this is useful when you go for one sort of the program where you want to make a num names or strings in dictionary order anyway in my future videos i'll explain those programs also coming to string and compare i don't want to compare all the characters i want to compare only first n number of characters then i can do str and cmp so where you can see here i have given the value 9 so first nine characters in each string you can see 3 5 and including space totally nine characters i am checking and both nine characters are same so that's why it will give equal so only it will check then of course if you take entire characters if i use without n then it will be not equal but here it will be only first nine characters both are same that's why it is equal remember space also to be included here and coming to the next one string cat where in string copy it is replaced whereas in string cat it will be added concatenation we call it as so here this s2 whatever s2 will be concatenated to s1 so what s1 will consist like hello followed by world like this it will consider so this is the one thing you need to observe when you go for string concatenation anyway s2 consists world only like this and you can if you feel that space is not sufficient you can make it as s1 of 20 like this so after printing s1 the output will be hello world now string and cat i want only three number of characters from the second string i want to copy that is i want to concatenate so so three in the sense in our example three first characters w or will be added to s1 like this so the s1 will be like hello w o r so this is only string n cat so you need to find the difference between string cat and string n cat so like this you have basic uh, string manipulation functions and not only this we have a number of string manipulation functions so we have to know how the string manipulation function can be used what is the syntax and when you use you have to must write the header file which is hash include history string dot h we will see some programs using strings in the next video lecture thank you